Well, it is perhaps the most important SpaceX rocket in the fleet. Right now, the Crew-1 booster is back on the Space Coast. You see it right there following Sunday night's liftoff of four astronauts who are now on the International Space Station. News 6's James Barbero tells us now that the rocket, how it will be refurbished for a second human spaceflight mission. Boy, I tell you, it is fantastic to be up here. As the newest team on board the International Space Station gets to work, the public gets its closest look at the historic rocket that launched the astronauts. Unlike how we usually see a Falcon 9 return to Port Canaveral, this booster was tilting, but we watched as it docked just fine. Either it had a little bit of a rough landing or there were rough seas that caused it to tilt. The Falcon 9 performed superbly the way it was supposed to. Crew 1 begins a regular rotation of commercial crew astronauts working on the space station. Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker and Soichi Noguchi join Kate Rubens and two Russians on board. In the station's 20-year history, this is the first long-duration crew of seven. This is busy in a great way. There's energy up here. We've got people zooming by. We're going to get a lot of work done, which is really good for all the science that goes on in the world. SpaceX's contract with NASA is currently for six astronaut missions. The Crew-1 booster will also launch the next one, Crew-2. Another four astronauts expected to fly in the spring. They'll have to do some extra work to make sure that this booster is refurbished properly and so they can safely launch the next crew of astronauts. And Crew 2, with that booster, is tentatively scheduled to launch March 30th. At Port Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.